Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a branch and um, make some changes on that branch. Okay, so um, uh, usually branching and merging would happen as a group project, but this is just going to be for my benefit because I want to just try something quite daring and I don't want to screw up my uh, code base, uh, which is currently working, which is this, you know, paragraph tag and H1. Um, okay, so but in real money, like if you had a very complex project and you wanted to try some kind of in, uh, new in a, innovative kind of um, approach to um, adding some extra functionality, you didn't want to, to like to break things. This is how you would go about um, safeguarding the work you've done already. So a branch, okay? So I can just right click or go up to team, we'll try this for a bit. In fact, if, uh, in effect, the right clicking on the project or, or this gives you the same options. I'm gonna create a branch. And I'm going to call this branch um, um, uh, nice color branch, okay? <laughs> um, because I'm going to add some CSS to this, all right? So there you go. I'm going to press um, ah, I can't put spaces in. That's what it was. Okay, and then I'm going to press create, okay? So I've created a branch, but it, it might not be that obvious like which branch I'm working on. So I could have uh, multiple branches going on in, 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 in kind of, I guess, usual circumstances. There'd be like one, uh, if you're working by yourself, like one um, new branch that you're working on, do some kind of testing, make sure everything works and then you merge it back into the master. But like, um, this is how to check what branch you're actually on. So if I was to go into Git, and I was going to go into a uh, uh, repository browser. You'll see uh, now I've got a um, local here. I've got a master branch and a nice color branch. So um, I'm actually on the nice color branch. So what we can do here is I can add my CSS file. So let's do that. I'm going to do style.css, press finish. Uh, I'm going to add some style, make the body a lovely color of red. Uh, background color and we're going to just do red okay and I'm going to press save I'm going to link that into here okay I'm going to press save so I've got a few changes now you can see that there's um, this is new this hasn't been committed at all that file and there's changes here here on this one so let's just commit that to the repository right git commit Obviously, you wouldn't really commit just two tiny changes like that in real life, but there we go, just for the video. Um, I'm gonna say like added um, CSS and an amazing color to the background. Okay, and then this is gonna affect these two files, correct, could commit that. And we're done. So I now press, um, so if I wanted to, um, I could, I, I know that I've got this here, I could run that file probably, I'll just run it in there. Run that. Okay, red, wow, okay, there we go. I know it works. But let's just say that I wanted now, I, like, I messed up the project, I wanna change it, I wanna go back to how it was uh, and just carry on. So I go to Git. I go to um, uh, repository browser. I go into this guy and it says, do you wanna go back to, do you wanna check out all the files for the master? I press check out and you'll see that there is no more CSS. So if I was to go to my uh, project, this is the index page and I press run file, you'll see that it's, doesn't have the lovely red color in it. So um, that's how you create a branch and how you switch between branches in NetBeans.